Okay, we'll call to order the Elk Creek Fire Protection District Board of Directors meeting September 12, 2013 at 1807. Director Fox, will you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let the roll call show that all board members are present. Are there any uh, additions or deletions to the agenda? I have none. Good. All good? Yep. Okay, motion to approve the agenda. So so moved. Or second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. Please review the August 8, 2013 regular meeting minutes. Financial matters? Um, we have our normal financial report for August uh, and we have attached to it a detail and we are now <coughs> pretty close to being done with our new chart of accounts and things are right. We're just tweaking it. Just tw still tweaking it, but, but it's really in pretty good shape, right? Okay. Uh, the expenses are not just the disbursements this time, they're the total expenses that we Heard. Is that right? Okay. That excludes the uncollectible accounts, non-cash disbursements. So therefore, I move that we approve the expenses of $111,586 for the month of August. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. There is a budget discussion, but I'm not sure, Chief, you, uh, uh, you just presented us with the schedule of things that we right. have to do. So yes, the, the uh, budget calendar is attached, mm -hmm. and um, the you know, first uh, step in that essentially is the going to be the um, first draft of the budget, which will be due by October 15th, and uh, so we'll have that for the October um, uh, meeting. We did get from the assessors the uh, um, the uh, certificate of valuation from each county that gives us our basically our, our final values to set our budget up for next year. And uh, as we anticipated that um, assessment was down, uh, we're going to be looking at about $39,000 less in uh, property taxes available uh, for next year, which is about a 4% decrease over what was available this year. Because the uh, budget is on a, or the assessments are on a biennial cycle, that means that uh, in uh, the following year, uh, we'll be at the same level um, pending any uh, new construction or uh, further um, uh, devaluation. So roughly we can yeah, account for the next two years, uh, $40,000 less. Or 4 less. on scene 1808. Um, so you're going to present us with a, a, a budget at the next meeting or before the next meeting? We'll, uh, I'll get that to you ahead of the next meeting for your review, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll be able to uh, review that. And then we'll have a public hearing. The public hearing will be later. Right. Uh, the October one is the first first draft of the budget right. for your review. Right. Okay. Any questions about our financial report? Thank you. Thanks, Alec. Uh, that'll take us right into the fire chief's report. Okay. Um, August was a little bit quieter uh, for calls. We actually uh, unfortunately didn't have any structure fires during the month. Uh, one car fire and uh, one kitchen <coughs> fire, which uh, amounted to the entire fire loss of the month of approximately $200. Um, I don't know how much of that was food and how much of it was the pan it was in. Um, <laughs> the, um, we did. Uh, um, we had about thirty or thirty-five EMS calls, uh, which was down from uh, uh, both uh, June and July. Um, 
and uh, no particular reason why uh, EMS calls were down for the month, but we uh, had um, uh, fewer uh, transports during the month with uh, 20, um, actually that should have been 21 uh, transports rather than 20. Uh, the other um, kind of uh, significant uh, uh, thing that we had in uh, during August is that because it was an extremely busy wildfire month uh, across the country, we had uh, requests and um, had uh, personnel out assisting on fires in, uh, in several different states uh, during that during the month. Um, the last of those is coming back from Yosemite Park uh, today. They just left. Uh, we've had an engine out there for the last 25 days now. Um, and uh, they're just on their way back. The uh, rough estimate of what um, you know, that is going to net for the department uh, for the month alone is going to be about seventy thousand uh, dollars. That uh, definitely was something that's going to help uh, help us going into the budget for um, uh, 2014. Uh, training was relatively quiet. August uh, is not uh, July and August are not big months for us for our training, so we just had uh, the regular weekly training uh, and. Um, about uh, 993 hours of staffing by the volunteers, which again is still uh, showing excellent uh, response by the volunteers to come out and uh, be ready for additional uh, calls. Uh, we did uh, pick up the laptops for the ambulances on the um, on the state EMS grant, so those are uh, basically waiting for uh, our IT guy to get those mounted in there, but they're actually sitting right over there on the counter. Um, the uh, only other thing that I have for the report this month is that uh, I'd like to go ahead and, uh, you know, the, if you recall, we talked about uh, two different uh, or, uh, fleet reduction ideas, uh, pending on the bill levy or not, and we've got some vehicles that uh, we know that we would not be retaining under either of those, uh, of those possible plans. So I'd like to, uh, you know, have a motion if possible to uh, go ahead and um, and uh, declare uh, two of those vehicles surplus that we're not uh, currently using much now. One is the Jeep Cherokee that was uh, the uh, training officer's car in the past. And then the second one is the rehab unit, which um, while it's a very useful, uh, useful for us once or twice a year, uh, the majority of the year it doesn't, uh, doesn't move very much. And I'll be working with our uh, support team on um, basically coming up with a way that they can utilize one of the other vehicles to, uh, you know, bring food and coffee out to firefighters when we have major incidents. Uh, we do have um, uh, Platte Canyon Fire is actually interested in picking that up as a as, to replace their third out ambulance, which is only a two wheel drive. And so, if we did surplus that, uh, it would be going to a good home close by. I'd like to move that we accept the chief's recommendation regarding uh, <coughs> the status and disposal of surplus. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the motion passes. And that's really all I've got for this evening. Okay, any questions for the chief? There is actually one other thing that uh, I didn't get on the report there, and I did uh, pass that around to everybody, and it's available <coughs> for, uh, for any of the um, any of the members of the audience here. The uh, you know, there have been uh, some questions that were brought up uh, from people who had looked at our audit and uh, wanted to get more detail on what uh, we had spent money on uh, last year. So I've gone ahead and taken our um, uh, 2013 budget that uh, we had uh, approved uh, last year and um, took the numbers of that we had, had estimated for 2012 and gone ahead and gotten the final numbers after the audit included in that. So this uh, shows in quite a bit of detail just exactly uh, where the district spent money last year and hopefully it should answer any of those questions that people had about uh, about the audit questions and about um, our financial uh, situation, you will see on the you know on this that um, 
We did bring in more in revenue uh, than we had uh, anticipated and than we had in the previous year. And uh, that was um, solely because of the wildfire response that we did that brought in $236,000. And um, in the end, we also spent more than we had originally budgeted, again, because of the $132,000 that uh, we spent on uh, you know, personnel and costs and, uh, and fuel costs on those uh, wildfire responses. In the end, um, essentially, we ended up uh, spending, well, $27,352 uh, out of reserves for the general fund. However, uh, compared to 2011, that was quite a bit better where, you know, we had um, spent uh, $291,000 uh, the year before I started here uh, out of uh, reserves. So uh, we're moving in the right direction with that. And obviously, if we had not uh, had the, the wildfire responses that we would have, uh, you know, we're, we would have been uh, quite a bit uh, over uh, over our anticipated budget. You know, one of the other reasons that uh, you know that that number ended up uh, lower than it did. If you look at the actual um, tax revenues that we got on, on the first page, there uh, we actually received eight hundred eighty-three thousand, and uh, that was significantly below uh, the actual tax assessment that we were due. So. There was a lot of unpaid taxes uh, in 2012. Um, hopefully, at some point, you know, when the uh, housing market turns around, uh, that uh, would would be returned to us in, in delinquent taxes. But uh, you know, in some cases where properties, you know, we've got some properties that have been sitting vacant for a number of years now, and it may be a long time uh, before we see those properties uh, return that delinquent tax. Uh, we are going to go ahead and budget, um, you know, as we move into next year, we're going to continue to budget for 100% collection on taxes uh, because that is, you know, the, the uh, guidelines that the state gives us on that. But, um, you know, I would anticipate that even the number that we have for 2013 uh, will be lower than, than what we have budgeted. This will be made public as soon as this is this is available to the public for you know anybody who, who would like it. Yeah. Very good. Okay. okay. Anything else? Nope, that's all I have. Okay. Any other questions for the chair? Um, all right, any old business from the board? Seeing none, any new business from the board. Seeing none, any citizens issues tonight. Seeing none. Motion for adjournment. So moved. All those in favor? Or second? Second. Okay. Sorry. I had to adjourn for a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all those